we are focusing on important topic of physics that is the radiation or light from ancient period we have certain doubts in our mind or questions that what is the nature of light what is the speed of light and uh, the way light is traveling in air in water in space about that various questions are and where there in our minds now here uh, what is the speed of light speed of light is 3 lakh kilometers per second i am revising 3 lakh kilometer per second usually we are for, uh, aware that uh, kilometer per hour unit is used but here i am purposefully saying it is not hour it is second so what is speed of light 3 lakh kilometers per second this speed we are considering for general consideration for accurate level 2.9 something is there but i am not giving that figure right now so here we are saying speed of light is in uh, usually we are considering for vacuum that is 3 lakh kilometer per second because uh, on changing medium the speed of light also changes so here in vacuum we are considering speed of light as 3 lakh kilometers per second now this is tremendous high speed even a fastest moving vehicle on earth or even spacecraft will not able to overcome this speed this is in other words we are calling as limiting velocity that is 3 lakh kilometers per second achieved only by light and now a days in a modern period certain uh, instruments are there but we will discuss that when we are discussing about nuclear chemistry at that time we will discuss so right now we can keep in mind for natural object the speed of light is limiting light it is 3 lakh kilometers per second now what is the distance traveled by light in one second let us check what is speed speed equal to distance upon time so distance is equal to speed into time so what is speed that is 3 lakh kilometers and what is time one second so distance equal to uh, this is kilometer per second so second second get cancelled so what is distance distance equal to 3 lakh kilometer so in a second light can travel 3 lakh kilometers so what is the distance traveled by light in one year check out i am revising what is distance traveled by light in one year so here i should consider one year is of approximate 365 days accurate readings are different i am just saying here approximately so it is 365 days one day that is solar day that is equal to 24 hours little bit readings are different we are considering generalized reading so it is 24 hours one hour corresponds to 60 minutes so multiply this by 60 and one minute equal to 60 seconds <coughs> so multiply by 60 so you are getting here days hours minute and ultimately second so we are converting total days of one year into second so one year equal to 365 days one day equal to 24 hours one hour equal to 60 minute and one minute equal to 60 second therefore this figure whatever we are getting that is 365 into 24 into 60 into 60 seconds are there in year now you are aware in one second so in one second light can travel 3 lakh 
kilometers. Therefore, in whatever this figure that is 365, uh, I am not purposefully calculating, you have to calculate that. So, 365 into 24 into 60 into 60 seconds, what is the speed of light? This system, what I am showing here, this system is very, very useful in further parts of our mathematics. So, uh, in one second, this travel this much distance. So, in this many seconds, what is the distance traveled by this? So, uh, this is, uh, I am saying A, this is B, this is C and this is D. So, uh, what is this? D equal to B by A multiplied by C. So, try to remember this formula and act accordingly. So, I am acting here accordingly. So, D equal to that uh, what distance travelled uh, that is B. What is B? 3 lakh into uh, divided by 1 into C. So, that is 365 into 24 into 60 into 60 whatever that figure so whatever the answer you are getting carry out this multiplication and into kilometers so this is the distance traveled by light in one year so this distance you have to calculate and point out figure this distance is called as one light year so what is light year light year is unit of length it is not unit of time many times this type of tricky questions are asked this is not that tricky but light year is unit of length that is used to measure usually distances between distant astral bodies say for example our pole star that is somewhat 300 light years away from earth what is pole star you are aware uh, from northern hemisphere of earth we can observe a star that is not moving that means that is not rising and setting it is having a fixed position in space that from earth we are having observation i am not saying that star is always steady that is also moving but the synchronization of earth speed is such that our north pole it's facing towards that star and therefore we observe that star is not rising and setting that is having fixed position from great bear that seven stars from that great bear we can locate out position of pole star so pole star is situated 300 light years away from earth that is the unit light year we are using so we are aware that light is coming from 300 light years to us same way there are other uh, long distant object say for example there is another galaxy that is called as andromeda galaxy i am revising the name that galaxy is called as andromeda galaxy so this andromeda galaxy is 2.5 billion light years away from our galaxy what is distance i am using 2.5 billion light years away and we can observe andromeda galaxy from earth so this way we can observe various galaxies the nearest galaxy to our galaxy is andromeda galaxy but apart from that various other clusters of galaxies are there i am not saying only galaxy clusters of galaxy and from that the light is coming out and that is reaching to earth so light can travel tremendous high distance say for example from andromeda galaxy light is coming to earth it will travel distance of 2.5 billion light year and this way uh, we can say that light is traveling tremendous high distance in the space as long as uh, we got certain sources with my knowledge 18.5 billion light years away source was detected from earth that means light is coming from 18.5 billion light years away and it is traveling so what is the exact nature of light for that purpose 
we have to consider two theories according to first theory that was given by great scientist sir isaac newton that is called as newton's corpuscular theory of light and second theory that is wave theory of light first we have to discuss about these two theories a little bit according to newton's theory of light light is made up of smaller particles say we are aware that uh, if you have continuous source of water say for example water is flowing from tap whatever that water is coming out you can observe a straight line water that is falling directly on ground but we are aware that water is made up of smaller object we are calling them as molecules and like that in series molecules are falling down we are getting appearance as continuous one but practically they are discontinuous one so like that whatever light we observe continuous that is not continuous one that is a smaller particle series of particles that is coming out newton says this way the particles are coming out from different objects to our eyes say uh, when i am observing suppose now you are observing me what is that whatever the light is reflected by my body or emitted by my body can i emit light because you are aware we are able to only reflect light but with higher knowledge we are sure that we can also emit radiation with lower knowledge we are only reflecting out but higher knowledge we can emit radiation let me discuss this topic first then in next topic we are discussing how our body is also emitting out radiation so let us check out first thing that whatever light is reflected by my body that is going in the camera then it is converted into electrical signal when you are observing that electrical signal is converted into light and you are able to observe me so this is simple mechanic uh, suppose you are sitting in a closed room where no light source is there from outside switch off all the light inside you will get only darkness and you are not able to observe anything in that room why the reason is very simple that there is no light means absence of light so you can't observe anything if any body is either emitting out light or reflecting out light and that light should be in visible range i'm revising that light should be in in a separate uh, world and visible is separate world here so if that radiation is visible range then we can observe that there are invisible radiations also so if visible radiations are coming out we can able to observe that object otherwise we can't now here i am focusing on a topic that is newton's corpuscular theory which is able to explain various facts about light but not all the questions satisfied by newton's corpuscular theory say for example if corpuscles are there corpuscles means particle if particles are there then after using a light source for longer time the mass of source should decrease out because particle is there that means mass must be there so uh, whatever the massless or very very light mass particles also we are saying but after certain period the mass must decrease out practically speaking the mass of light source is not decreased out like that various observe uh, objections are there next theory is given that is wave nature of light now here in order to understand what is wave nature of light we have to first discuss the nature of wave so i am uh, terminating discussion about light and now i am focusing on discussion on wave first by getting exact nature of wave we can introduce the concept that wave nature of light 